If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team Mutt Squads video. Guys, today we are playing alongside Madden 12 Mutt Team and Daffodil Killer. You've seen me play with both of them before. I don't think we've played together in a video before, though. Um, we're a pretty decent team. Not amazing, but decent. Starting it off strong here. Nick at quarterback, finding Daff about 26 yards down the field for a nice pickup. And our offense is clicking, son. Look at this. Another pass there to Daffy. He is going to pick up another 12-yard gain this time. And now we're going to try and move the ball on the ground. Little run here with Saquon Barkley off the left side and he does pick up about five so we're moving into well pretty close to uh field goal position here i guess this technically would be unfortunately nick drops back so far that joey bosa takes us out of field goal range to the 40 yard line so that's about a 57 58 yard field goal so we decide we're just going to go for it fourth and 12 normally we would punt here but field position determined that we were going to go for it and i am going to find some open space here make the juke another one in to the end zone with Ricky Williams and look at that hitting him with the nasty <laughs> I don't even know what that celebration is but it is so funny I love when they do that one for some reason but uh so we do start off strong there on the first drive with a seven point touchdown drive but their offense is pretty solid as well they ran pretty much the same thing that we did there um the halfback wheel is one of our favorite plays to run in mutt squads there's just so many options to throw to and that x route there that he threw to was a really good option unfortunately for them on their next pass attempt ronnie lott is going to come up with a huge interception diving over the offensive player to pick that one off so we're back on offense here and nick is going to look down the field he had some guys open underneath by the way I'm blaming Nick for that one. <laughs> Normally, he's a really good quarterback, though, so I can't really blame him too much. He made some nice passes on the first drive. So basically what that was is essentially a long punt. So we're not too disappointed about that one. Their offense, though, back on the field and a big pass there to Saquon Barkley on the right side of the field. Big pick up there. So they've basically thrown two big passes and then one interception, and they have Mike Vick as well. Vic is always, of course, a threat to take off and run with the football, and he does it there for six yards. We're trying to catch as many guys here, or cover as many guys as we can, and he's going to throw it away there on third and two. Brings up now a fourth and two, and they actually decide to kick the field goal here. Interesting decision. They were at the position on the field where I would have probably said to go for it, but they're a conservative team. And that is going to show later in this game as well. And we're back on offense now. And look at Mike Vick taking this sack, unfortunately, fumbling the football as well. Nick tried to scramble out of the pocket, and they just had guys everywhere. Nice play defensively for them. So now they're in the position where they could potentially take the lead here on this drive with a touchdown. Or we could potentially intercept them again. That's what we're going to try to do. But they make a nice conservative pass there underneath to Saquon Barkley. Nice play for a pickup of about seven. Third and three now. And Vic is going to scramble. And he throws it on the run. Ronnie Lott could have intercepted that one as well. It went off his fingertips. And we do not get the pick. So, again, another field goal for their offense. Now six to seven. A one-score football game still. But we're still up one point. So we're happy about that. Third and 11 on offense for us. We're going to try and pick this one up underneath, and I do complete. we do catch the pass there. Ricky Williams underneath with a nice conservative catch there, possession catch, falling to the ground. I wish he doesn't do that, but, you know, what can you do? Another one deep here now. Randy Moss should probably beat the defense for a touchdown there, but he doesn't. That's so frustrating. I don't know why they made it this year where when you rat catch, you just like lose all momentum, but it's okay because the very next play, I find an opening in the defense and we do score the touchdown to go up 14 to six. So now it's an eight point game. Good news for us. Look at these guys. Look how many guys I have to cover here, but Nick comes off the defensive line, Madden 12 Mutt team with Leonard Williams. Look at the big man gets the pick, the user interception, covering the running back out of the backfield and the touchdown. Un freaking believable absolutely amazing play by nick you have to admit he made some bad passes earlier but that's the kind of thing that he does on defense he is unbelievable so there you go another big pass for them they are like they're not completing very many passes but they have five completions for 128 yards at this point massive pickup there by randy moss and we stop him on the neck the ensuing run third and 14 here and they're going to go underneath to barkley but we do stop him right near the five yard line so they're in the position where they're going to kick another field goal nine to 21 so 
not a huge disaster for us after we give up the big gain but right here basically what we need to do is not turn the football over and of course ah i don't know i don't know what nick saw there i don't uh i don't know what he saw and unfortunately that gives them another field goal so we're still up nine not, again not the end of the world that's two scores they can't take over and you know tie the game on one drive so that's still okay but i wish that we wouldn't have thrown that interception there that was really not a good thing so they're conservative as heck by the way i mean again four field goals already at this point nice pass underneath there it's tough for me to cover that with my user but uh very nice play by them mike vick taking off and trying to scramble but he is taken down in the backfield leonard williams who got the pick six earlier gets the sack this time and we're continuing to try and rush the passer here covering the guys underneath and he's gonna throw this one into double coverage down the field in traffic under pressure when he threw it and Odell Beckham still comes up with the catch. Un it's just one of those things. You know, it's just one of those damn things. Next play, Jadavia Clowney is going to make a nice sack in the backfield. Forces a fumble, but we're not able to come up with it. They came up with the fumble when they forced it against us. But we're not that lucky this time. And they do get the field goal. So, they pull it back within one score. 15 to 21. We're able to stop them. But now, their pass rush is starting to get to us. If you watch that play again... That guy just came through completely untouched. I have no idea how they did that, but yeah. Anyway, third and 18, a nice dump off pass here. Trying to actually play for field goal position, or field position, I should say. Uh, but Nick Nick's makes a nice play with his user and picks up the first down. But unfortunately, shortly thereafter, they do get another sack to end our drive. So we end up punting it. They're playing out of their own end zone now, though. Bombing it down the field here. A beautiful pass. I mentioned that same route, that deep corner route that Halfback Wheel has is very difficult to defend by most defenses, and they've exploited it a couple times now. Thankfully, Jadavian Clowney, three and a half sacks at this point in the game. He is single-handedly just our pass rush on defense. Like, it's crazy. Look at him. They're trying to double him here, and still he's getting some pressure on the quarterback. So we end up getting the football back after a punt, trying to run out the clock here. Three minutes and 10 seconds left. Basically, all we have to do here is get some points on this drive. If we get a field goal, we're in really good shape. But if we don't get the field goal, we're not going to be in good shape. And right here, we are unfortunately going to take another sack Joey Bosa. I don't know why we're scrambling out of the pocket so much. I know it's difficult because the pass rush is so intense on mutt squads, but you know, one of the things that I would say is if you play a lot of mutt squads, do your best to stay in the pocket. So anyway, a minute 10 left here. They're throwing it into traffic and we get the interception. Now, a minute and eight seconds left. Basically, all we have to do here is pick up a couple first downs. They have to use all their timeouts if we allow ourselves to get the first down. And right here, the first play on offense, Saquon Barkley is going to pick up a massive first down, and the clock continues to run. We end up forcing them to use all of their timeouts, and they're going to get the ball back with 13 seconds left at their own 20 after we punt. 13 seconds left. Look at this. Tell me that's not a sack. I, I don't understand that animation right there. That was not a throw. At no point did he start his throwing motion. I have no words for that not being a sack or a fumble or what. I don't know. Anyway, Vic is going to take off here, leaving them with one second. Unbelievable play by that quarterback. We have to stop them one time. One second left. The pressure is getting to him. Vic is going to throw it under pressure while getting hit. Randy Moss. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a choke job by our defense. We ran man under, man three deep, whatever the hell it's called. And they end up scoring the touchdown. Unfreaking believable end to this football game. They win it 22 to 21. Great performance by this team. I have no disrespect for them. They played extremely well, and that was one of the funnest endings to a game that I've ever played in Madden, so I want to give those guys props. I know one of them actually uploaded this game as well, so I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere on YouTube, but uh, thanks for the game, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. More Mud Squads content, more Madden Ultimate Team content, and I have some Madden Ultimate Team leaks for you guys tomorrow, so stop on back on the channel. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you all again soon.